Thank you so much, John, for uh, having me here. Um, uh, I would say that uh, today, yesterday, and uh, the few, a few years back, we are hearing a lot about NPEs and uh, MPLs. Uh, for us, for the, fund, uh, for the fintech sector, uh, the future is different. Uh, the future for us is uh, cashless. All financial transactions uh, in the near future will be carried out purely through non-analog means leading to a cashless society. The availability of digital payment systems gives a choice for businesses and customers not to use the traditional banking sector, but at the same time, they promise transparency, efficiency, and convenience. Cashless payment systems can stimulate economic growth by making payments easier and more convenient. They can provide time and cost savings opportunities for businesses and individuals. Anyone with a smartphone can make cross-border payments and purchases cheaply and efficiently. A problem that we see is that many of the traditional banks look at the fintechs as a threat and not as an opportunity to col collaborate on uh, different new verticals of business that can increase their profits. Fintechs, and especially electronic money institutions, are here to stay. They are regulated by the central banks, offering a modern product, efficient, and uh, at uh, many times at uh, better prices. Now, some of the key trends that uh, are shaping the future of uh, payments are, first, financial inclusion and trust. Uh, some years back, according to the World Bank uh, Group, only 69% of the global adult population had a bank account or a mobile wallet. Second, digital currencies. Central banks' digital currencies are digital tokens or electronic records that represent the virtual form of a, nation, of a nation's currency. These, along with private sector cryptocurrencies, are predicted to, f to have the biggest disruptive impact over the next 20 years. Then we have digital wallets. Digital wallets enable consumers to load and store payment methods on their mobile phones. Retail payments. When it comes to retail payments, there needs to be flexibility. Today, innovative technologies in the retail payment landscape are helping uh, keep up with the consumers, changing expectations. Last, and for sure not least, Internet of Things and the future of payments. The Internet of Things is also affecting the payments landscape. The number of connected devices like fridges, vehicles, and machinery is growing exponentially and presents significant sales opportunities for businesses that embrace IoT payments. We know that ECB is looking into fintech very seriously, and this is why you have introduced a fintech banking license that, again, it's a credit institution license with a more detailed focus on fintech. But uh, I think that uh, you have to help banks in Europe in order to accept the possibility that some of these fintechs uh, will become or can become real modern banks. A problem here is the influence that big established local banks have into the local political and regulatory system that don't let fintechs uh, grow. By doing this, they monopolize the markets and they keep the banking sector from moving forward for the benefit of the society. I will uh, close my remarks, uh, uh, remarks by giving just some uh, uh, points about the company that uh, I represent, Eco EcomBX, which is an electronic money institution licensed by the Central Bank of Cyprus. Uh, we are principal members of Visa and MasterCard. We employ around 150 people uh, across uh, Europe. We have grown organically. And uh, the reason that uh, we are here and uh, we will invest in uh, Greece is because of the excellent reputation in the technology sector that the current government has achieved. So we would like to be a part of the success story by bringing, uh, bringing uh, in the country our own uh, expertise. And uh, I want to say that I'm proud that last week we got awarded by Invest Cyprus as one of the leading uh, fintech firms in Cyprus uh, from uh, the government organization. Thank you.